I'm Matt. I'm Kara. And we are Grab Ventures, and where are we at? We are currently in California about to board our Carnival Cruise. We're going on the Mexican Riviera Seven Night Cruise. Yeah, so we stayed a night here in LA. We're headed out to Long Beach right now to catch the Carnival Panorama. Now, we've never been on Carnival before. We did Disney last year, if you saw the series. But we're excited to see a new cruise yes. ship and have a new experience. I've never been to Mexico. She has, so it's going to be a great <laughs> time, and we hope you join us on this adventure. Okay, we are on our way to Long Beach, and as you can see, it's raining, but not for long. Not for long, thankfully. And we're in traffic. That's so California. Two, well, two things we brought from Seattle, rain and traffic. And traffic. <laughs> Okay, how's everyone feeling? Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. So excited. Ready? Yeah. Ready to go on the big ship? Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, it was a little harrowing dropping off the rental car, which was a pain. We finally figured that out. The lift ride was not great either. We made it here though. We are in one piece. Luggage just dropped off. We're actually at the terminal. Now that we got all the logistics out of the way, we're going to head inside and hopefully get our cruise on. What's the temperature right now um, of everything? Mood, otherwise? Excited, happy, can't wait. Next seven days are gonna be amazing. I know. Morning was a little rough getting here. How's this girl doing? Good. She's wearing her kitty dress and she's happy. I think we're all ready for some sunshine. We're ready for some sunshine and there's the big dome. It's kind of blown out in the picture there. Um, reminds me of the Tacoma Dome out where we're from. But we're here at the terminal. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Okay, they checked our documents. Now we're making our way inside to the big dome. It's kind of cool, the dome is very big. And they got like a cool plane off in the distance. We have made it through uh, the checkpoint. They checked all our documents. We have passports and also a birth certificate for one of those. And that went smooth. We also went through security, um, the metal detectors and all that. That went really, really quick. So. There's a huge long line when we got here, but we've made it through in no time. Our check-in time was officially 11.30. We got here a little bit later. Um, it's like 12.30 right now just because there was a lot of traffic. But yeah, we're going to be getting on the boat in no time. And we are past the security checkpoint. This is kind of what the inside looks like. It's got kind of some tropical vibes, some mountain stuff over here, some fake trees. But it, it gives you a good sense of, you know, going to a tropical place, which we are. Oh, and look what Evie found. She loves animals, including uh, topiary dogs. Look, he's peeing on the tree. Oh, let me see here. He looks like this dog's doing his business <laughs> right here on the tree. So if you got here early and it didn't call your group right, you can definitely, there's some nice seating area you can kind of sit here in. So and now we're about officially going to get on the boat. And we have decided to choose fun, carnival, and here we go. We are going to be boarding the ship. Here we go. Boarding is this way. We are walking up the ramp. It's been a long journey here over the last two days. But we're going to have a whole week of fun. Now a little bit of foreshadowing. We had watched some videos prior to coming on this. I guess there's some really good barbecue on the beginning and the end day. So looking forward to deck five and a little bit of pulled pork. We are up on the top and presumably gonna be on the boat here in a moment. Okay, after an additional somewhat longish wait, it is five after, so it's probably about 20 some odd minutes. Um, we got a little bit of rain we gotta walk through, and so I'm gonna put this camera away, it's not waterproof, and then we'll be on the ship. I switched over to my phone, it's raining sideways on us, walking out of the ship, so we'll be, we'll be in the clear in a moment. There's the ship. And now we gotta wait in this uh, craziness. Getting the ship all ready. Oh wow. Okay, after an intense and wet walk down the breezeway, we are on the boat. We are finally on. It was super rainy. I'll show my phone footage. Very, very rainy and uh, so cold. But now we get to dry off and have some fun here. Okay, we are making our way onto the boat. 
And we are officially on the boat. Or on the boat. Okay, well we're gonna make our way, kind of get our ourselves oriented here on the ship, get settled in, and we'll show you what we're up to. We don't really have any plan today, but we'll figure it out. So we're here. Are you guys excited? So excited. I'm so excited for my kids' club. Evie wants to see your kids' club. We're getting our phones connected, so once you're on the ship, you go into airplane mode and connect to the Wi-Fi, and you have the Hub app. Nice. And I think the actual Wi-Fi and data is extra, but that's just to connect and use the app. There you go. Evie and I, we just did the muster station, and look what they gave her. It they gave her so we get a free pizza and free ice cream. Yep, free pizza and ice cream because we did the muster station. It was actually pretty simple. Um, we had them do a run through of how to put the vest on. It was really quick and easy. Um, I know when we did the Disney cruise, it was a whole thing where we lined up and it took forever. This took more time just to walk upstairs to see it. So it was really quick and then we're good to go. So we're going to check out the room in a little bit. On the day one, they have um, barbecue. So we're going to go up on the 10th deck here and get some sail away barbecue and hopefully some sail away cake, which I guess is a thing. So, so far good. It's a little bit different when we entered the ship. Didn't know what to expect. Um, like I said, my only experience is Disney Fantasy when you walk through and there's a grand atrium right there and it's kind of a big to-do. This, you just walk in and you're ready to go on the ship. So I guess uh, we're going to do some exploring, do some eating, and enjoy this vacation. But so far, so good now that we're actually here on the ship. This morning was a little rough. So we're up here on the 10th floor. There's a little confusion as to where we needed to go, but it's going to take a couple days for us to kind of get our bearings on things. But Evie was hungry, so we got her some pizza, and also there's some sail away cake. Let me show you what that looks like. There's the pizza she got, some cheesy goodness, and she wanted some of this special Funfetti cake. I guess they only have this on a departure day. How is it? It gets a thumbs up, so. And uh, I already took a bite of mine. It's actually really good, so. We're gonna try this, and then we're gonna meet um, Kara down on the fifth floor where the barbecue is. Uh, we asked somebody, and they said it was up here on the 10th floor, but I guess it's on the fifth, so we'll go check out that. Okay, we found everybody. We're back together, reunited. And uh, we did go to the Pick and Anchor barbecue. I mean, it was pretty good. I got a little bit of everything filled up on that. Um, Evie got some pizza, as you saw. And uh, now we're headed off to shore rooms. Now we have two separate rooms this time. There's gonna be some of us in one and <clears throat> some of us in the other. So we're gonna go down to the first room before we go to the second one. We'll give you a brief tour. It's nothing special. Um, we don't have an outside stateroom or anything. Mostly just a place to sleep, but we'll show you what that looks like. And the elevators are really busy right now. So we're taking the stairs, but they got the kind of these cool looking murals or pictures, like a mosaic in between each flight of stairs, which is cool. And one of the rooms is on the second floor and the additional one is on the eighth room. The one room is at the family harbor level. Okay, we're on second deck. Heading down the hall here. And it's it's hard, I'll probably hear it throughout the video, I will compare lots of things to our Disney Cruise because that's my only point of reference, but these hallways do seem wider than the Fantasy. So this is the first room, and we've got some cards and such in here. Okay, we got the room cards. We'll give you a quick tour. Walking in, and here we go. This is on the Family Harbor Suite. Got a television here. Says, got something here on the, got some beach towels. Walking a little bit further in the room, got a cute little nightstand. Got the bed. And don't blink your eyes, cause it'll be over. But yeah, it's pretty small. Um, here on the table, got the remote. Got some glasses, got some different charging places. Got 120 volts, got some USBs. Well, hopefully they work, they got a phone. Looks like we got a mini fridge down here. Let's take a look in the closet here. Got a safe and some storage. Got some clothing storage as well. There's the safe. And this is also an accessible room. And here is the bathroom. Got the sink, got a mirror here. There's the toilet. And we got the shower. 
this is a kind of all one big room. So yeah, not much to it, but hey. We just sleep in here, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not much to the room. We checked out our first room, which is on the second floor, and now we're gonna check out the additional stateroom, which is on the eighth floor. So we'll see if there's any differences. Like I said, there, our rooms are no frills, no balcony or anything like that, so probably very similar. Now we watched a couple of videos before coming on the panorama about the elevator situation. Basically you click whatever deck you want to go on. Eight, car B. And then it tells you what corresponding car you should go on, which is B, but it's been blinking for a while. The couple times we've tried to use it, we've had to wait and we're still waiting. Right about 10 minutes right now. Um, and I don't know if they've changed it recently, but it used to be you put how many guests that we're gonna be riding with you at that time, so you can kind of calculate how many people are gonna be in there. Anytime it's opened up so far, it's been completely full of people. So, yeah, I don't know how smart these smart elevators are, but it's a little frustrating, because you, and the thing is too, is if you hop in an elevator, let's say it's going to deck 11, you wanna to go to deck three, there's no buttons inside to change it at all. It's going to deck 11, whether you like it or not. So, you gotta hop in the right one at the right time. The elevators are taking forever. Everybody's gonna ride them. I'm a little winded from walking up eight flights of stairs. But the other room is on deck eight, and I'll give you a quick tour of that one. And didn't have to do too much walking. Right here, 8404. Okay, going in 8404. You gotta put a card in there for the light to work. It's an occupancy thing. And here we go. This is another inside stateroom. Got two beds here, got a child life jacket, a couple end tables. This also has some artwork, that's pretty. And then got kind of a writing desk right here with, got some USB ports, regular plugs, and an international plug. Additional life jackets under the bed. And it's got a, Decent sized TV there. It's got some waters. I don't think they're free though. 425 if you break into them. This also has a mini fridge there. Clothing storage. Got a safe. Got some more storage down below there. There's your Thermostat on the wall. Got a, if you're snoozing, don't want to be bothered. Let's check at the bathroom. It's got some blue accents there, got some soap. Also have a little mirror, main mirror, different various storage throughout. And then not much to it, got a toilet and a shower the shower curtain and it looks like they have shower gel and shampoo that's one of the one thing we were if you use conditioner you got to bring your own or buy it but they do have shower, shower gel and shampoo got a place you can hang your swimsuit which is pretty standard fare and a grab handle if you need one so not much to the rooms um but it'll work just fine it's just, we don't really spend a whole lot of time in the room anyways, just basically sleeping. So these will be uh, reasonable accommodations. There's the view of the door from the beds area. So, so those are the rooms. Like I said, no frills. We just uh, needed something to sleep on. And uh, we're going to go check out a little more of the ship and see what's going on. It is raining still. There's supposed to be a deck party, but if it's pouring on us, we may not stand outside too much. But there may be some other activities we're engaging. So far, day one on the ship. It's, for me anyways, not having done a ton of cruises, it can be a little overwhelming where to go, what to see and when, but after a couple of days, we usually get the swing of things. So looking forward to some relaxation, if nothing else. Okay, we're exploring the ship a little bit and we have made our way to the atrium. I want to show you what that looks like. It sounds like they have some live music. Um, so hopefully it don't get copyright, but let me show you this atrium, it looks pretty cool. Here's the main atrium. They got a big bar in the middle. 
and a gentleman over there playing a little live music. But they got this big LED or LCD pillar thing, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, this area is super busy. Live music is definitely a nice touch, but a lot of people getting into the cruise spirit. It's pretty loud in here, though. Yeah, so this mezzanine and atrium area is really cool looking. I like the cool big pillar in the middle there. It's very colorful. I like the live music. Man, this definitely seems like a really cool place to hang out. So we'll have to check it out more. It looks like a lot of the shops and stuff are up there. We'll see if there's any cool merchandise or things you can get later. But um, Kara's not had any of the send away cake. I had some earlier. Don't tell anybody. I may get a second piece or maybe a brownie. But we're going to head up to deck 10 right now. And yeah, check out deck 10 and check out a little more dessert. We're on a cruise. I want a brownie. Oh, and Evie wants a brownie. She's got a sweet tooth. <laughs> Actually, she doesn't just have one sweet tooth. I think all of them are sweet teeth. Oh, she's only got one, but it's the, it's a big one. Okay, it kind of caught me by surprise a little bit. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what time we were going to be sailing away. The so sailing away party's at 4.30. It's about 4.15 right now. But we are officially moving. I can feel it. Let me show you. There we go. We are leaving Long Beach officially about, about 4.10 right now. And uh, hopefully we can leave all this yucky weather behind. That's a reason. Normally I'd be watching it from an upper deck. But uh, yeah, weather is still terrible outside. And it's really, really rainy and cold. So we're inside just getting a quick snack before the sail away party. And sad emoji. The cake station is closed until 6. So I'll have to come back down. We have officially set sail. And we're going to join the sail away party in progress right now. Um, normally it's outside, but it is rainy and windy, so I think they've brought the festivities inside. I'll show you. So we just attended the sail away party. It was a little non-traditional from what we saw from videos before we came on this cruise. Normally it's outside, um, but it was rainy and windy. So they had it on the thir third, f fourth, and fifth level at their atrium there. It was fun, there was dancing, there was singing. We had a good time. Um, Evie really loved dancing. And so, yeah, it was a fun send off. And now we're gonna check out our kids club because she's super excited. We're in Camp Ocean, this is the kids club. We're gonna explore it here a little bit and see what they have. You wanna walk around and look? Yeah. Okay. Looks like they have kind of some different seats you can sit on. They have big Connect Four, different screens you can look at. Okay, let's walk over here. Oh, they got a list of Nintendo games from the look of it. Got a bunch of big, big stuff you can sit on. It's almost like they pump like a citrus smell into the air too. It smells good in here. Okay, nothing much back here. Oh, and Everly really loves arts and crafts, so she's excited about that part of it. Looks like they got a whole lot of books you can check out. And then they got a bunch of, this may be for the little kid area. Let's take a look in here. They got all sorts of toys and dinosaurs. I got some stuff on the wall you can play with. Look at this. They got a whole bunch of toys. And they even got some murals of some penguins. This is the Creative Cove. And this looks like... What's this? I think it's arts and crafts. Arts and crafts area, yeah. That yeah, looks like there's different things you can color and paint. I have a Dr. Seuss, Bookville. Look at that. 
There's some activities and books in here. Look, they got a lot of Dr. Seuss characters on the wall. They got the turtle, cat in the hat. They got the Grinch, thing one, thing two. I think that's Horton, maybe? And they got Sam I Am. Look at these cool big chairs. Evie, go sit in one of those chairs when we see you in it. Okay. Look at her sitting in the chair. Awesome. And if you want to take in some fine literature, pick up a little Dr. Seuss. Sit in a big chair. Now the Kids Club looks really cool. Evie's really excited to come and check it out. They got a lot of music and stuff playing. And she can officially come here at 7. It's uh, only about 5.30 right now, so she won't be able to officially play here, but she's looking forward to it. It looks, it's not overly huge. Um, like I said, comparing things to Disney, uh, their kids' club was massive. But this one's a little bit smaller, but still looks like a lot of fun stuff to do, and she's excited either way. So after 7, she can officially check in and have some fun. And hey, I just want to let you know the hours. It opens from 10 until 2, and then there's kind of a break in between, and it's open again from 6 to 1. Um, anything after 10, though, there is an upcharge. So other than that, it's free. So we're going to come back and drop her off a little bit later, but we checked it out, and she seems really excited. And they even give them a cool little... That's got their mustard drill area on it, and she's 6 years old, and it's got her name. And they put this on a chart that they wear while they're in here. What do you think of the kids' club? Um, it's pretty cool. Actually, it's the, lots to do. She like really likes like the module modular um, cushions that you can stack and play in and jump on. So I think she'll have a good time with that. Plus, there's games and she's gonna have friends to play with. Yes, be fun interacting with some other kiddos. Yeah. Okay, the kind of buffet area that opens up at six. We're gonna go over there right now because Kara didn't get any of the send off cake, so we're gonna get some right now. Now I just used it. We'll give you a demonstration here. But this is a hand washing station they have at the what's called the marketplace. It's kind of their buffet area. But you put your hands in there, it applies soap and water, and you can dry off with a paper towel. Kara's gonna demonstrate here. It does it all for you. It's almost like a touchless car wash. Yeah, that's so nice. I need one of these at home. Yep. All done. All done, and then you just rinse your hands. It's on a timer almost. That's a nice feature to nice have. I know I tease you with getting some more cake, but the send away cake, apparently maybe it's only right when you um, get on the ship. So we got a piece, Carrie didn't get a piece unfortunately, but we did hook up some different dessert before our dinner, because why not, we're on a cruise. <laughs> Evie's working with some chocolate mud pie with some chocolate on top. Chocolate mud pie, that this is a brownie. Well, <laughs> I don't think your tummy knows the difference. I got a cookie, some more mud pie, Maybe some cheesecake and some mousse, because why not? Gary got some mud pie and looks like some sort of muffin. This and we is both. Like a little orange, orange cake and then coffee, of course. We got some coffee. And coffee and juices and water, they're all part of the just regular cruise um, to get soda or alcoholic beverages. It's an additional charge, but these are included. Weird. And this weird thing. Yep, and some weird, it looks like some weird mousse. So. We're gonna enjoy some dessert here and uh, let you know how it is. Okay, now for some honest talk about the dessert. I wasn't impressed, although I still ate it. Um, the cookie was not very good and the brownie was kind of flavorless. Um, the mousse was probably the shining star and then the cheesecake was kind of so-so. Um, yeah, hopefully the main dining dinner dessert's better because you need more than one dessert in a day. Um, but this was just kind of okay, so I'm not super impressed. What do you think? Um, basically the same. Something was weird with the cookie. I don't know if it was like an off batch, so we'll have to try it again tomorrow um, and see. But still, kind of just tastes, you know, like a packaged cookie. Um, and yeah, mousse was definitely the best for sure. So. I got one and I've heard that the, the cake is really good, but you know, I missed it. Mm. Next time. What's the winner? This is. Oh, and Evie likes that moose. Mm -hmm. Well, we heard there's a moose in your house. Is that true? Nope. She slowly <laughs> slides, slides the, the, root, the carcass of the moose over to herself. <laughs> and she absolutely hated the brownie. I loved it. You loved it? Oh, yum. 
Okay, we have late dining and we are gonna have dinner at the Horizons restaurant. It's a little loud out there. This is right next to the atrium with the live music, the atrium bar with that big LED funnel thing. But we're looking forward to it. Um, I can't say that I'm particularly hungry. I had snacked on some dessert earlier as well as some pizza. So I may have some lighter options. Um, but we're in line. We have the late dining, I said again, um, at 745. Um, yeah, we're gonna show you what the dinner looks like, see what everybody gets, and this will be our first sit-down dining experience at Carnival. And here we go. And we found our table. We walked around the whole restaurant, but it's actually up front. We are at 178. Okay, we're gonna sit down and show you what they got. Okay, here's some of the options they have here on this restaurant for appetizers. They have some pappardella with braised lamb. Not quite sure what that is, but it sounds good. Roasted duck roll, shrimp cocktail, seasonal mixed lettuce, Caesar salad, some tomato soup, wild rice gruyere, say that 10 times fast, and country chicken soup. And they got some sushi. Also got uh, some gluten-free options. They got some barbecue salmon for the entree. Um, they also got some vegan options as well. But some of the main entrees, they have some Szechuan shrimp, some vegetable wellington, hmm. some spaghetti pasta, Indian vegetarian. And for dessert, they have cheesecake and some lime sorbet. So um, I don't quite see on here the kids menu. So we'll see what they have as for an option. But I'm not quite sure what I want yet. And we did get a kids menu. I'll show you what they have um, here. They have a hot dog, hamburger, cheeseburger, chicken nuggets, pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, PB and J. That's what I would pick. French fries, fresh veggies, and pasta. Oh, pizza. Evie wants some cheese pizza from the looks of it. And for dessert, they have chocolate brownie, banana split, assorted cookies, fresh jello cocktail, ice cream, and jello itself. And they start you out with some delicious butter. And it looks like some delicious bread as well. It's nice and piping hot, so that's a good way to start the meal anyways. Food has arrived. We got some cheese pizza for Everly over here. And they brought it out with some french fries on top, and she said french fries are not a topping, which I agree. So we put those up to the side. Holden has french fries as a topping. Yeah. Got some pepperoni pizza. What do you got, Haley? I got a cheeseburger, but this is just my appetizer. Appetizer, and then... Kara has the tomato soup. That's like basil and mint, I think. Oh, yeah. Pretty good, actually. And then, last but not least, I got the roasted duck rolls, which have rice paper, scallion, sweet garlic sauce. So they look like kind of like a fresh spring roll with some sauce. So I'm going to give those a try and let you know how I like it. And I am wearing a shirt with white on it. I don't want any food on it. But I had some of the duck rolls, and not a big fan. Um, yeah, the sauce you dip them in is really good, but the actual thing itself, not great. So, at least in my opinion. I, I like fresh spring rolls and these. Maybe I don't like duck. I only had it a couple times. I figure I'd try it, so. Um, but maybe look for something else if you're going to come on this cruise. I thought the soup was pretty good. It's very tomato-y. So, if that, you know, is an issue, don't get it. But it was, it was good. Temperature was great. Tasted good for the sailing because our boat's rocking a little bit so you know soup is good on the tummy how's your pizza hey okay tasting good Thank you. did you have your pizza yeah it was how really was it good. very good very good how was the burger Delicious. good just like you like it awesome okay we're still waiting for our main entrees but they had a table magician step by and did some card tricks which was awesome he guessed our cards and kind of moved it around in the deck was really, really entertaining. So that's kind of a cool thing. They came over here and interacted with us, and we really enjoyed it. So yeah, that was kind of a cool thing I didn't expect here on Carnival. Our entrees have arrived, and Kara got a chicken breast, and it's also got some potatoes on the side with some veggies. Holden got, this is, what is this, buddy? Strip loin steak. A strip loin steak, also with potatoes and some broccoli. And then I got a Cobb salad because I ate some pizza earlier. I'm not crazy hungry, but that looks like the perfect amount. So we're going to dig in and let you know how it is. I just finished my entree and it was delicious. I didn't want something really, really heavy. I wasn't extremely hungry, so I got a Cobb salad. And it was the best Cobb salad I've ever had. It was really fresh ingredients, 
very tasty and just the right amount. So if you want kind of a lighter fare to get the comp salad, highly recommend it. Kara got the chicken. How was the yep. chicken? It was delicious. Like, yeah, cooked perfectly, nice and juicy. The veggies, so good. Um, definitely recommend. Yeah. Excellent. Everly's excited. She was chomping at the bit to get some lava cake, and here it is. It comes with a little bit of ice cream, and then if you cut into that, I think it's all gooey inside. Cut into it and see. Cut into it, see, see the lava. Ooh, there we go. Oh. Is it hot? Lava hot? You may have to put that cream on top to cool it down. That looks delicious, though. She knows She knows how to do, do dessert right. <laughs> Well, our dinner is coming to an end, and that means it's dessert time. Now, Evie and Holden got the lava cake, Haley got it as well, and then Kara and I got the cheesecake with some strawberry on it. Let me show you what that looks like. There's the cheesecake, that looks delicious. And then Kara also got like a little mini cheese plate, with it looks like it's some sort of crustette on it, and a couple of samplings of cheese, that looks delicious. You wanna share it? Yeah, I'll try it and let you know how it is. Well. That's a deep subject. I'm officially full. Not overly full, but just about right. Had the delicious cheesecake, which was really good, and that I shared uh, that cheese plate with Kara, which was also delicious. So, good selections. Overall, my dinner experience was great. Now I'm going to be a little torn. Dinner was good here, but some of the other dining options look really good as well. I sampled some of their pizza. Their um, marketplace buffet also looks really good. Had some good options. And then um, the burger place, the Guy Fieri burger place looks good. So it's going to be hard to choose where to eat. It looks like a lot of good options. We just finished dinner. You want to give me your impressions? Um, I thought overall it was really good. Um, the um, chicken main course was like probably some of the best chicken I've had in a long time. And um, everything else was delicious. So I'm happy with it. And apparently you get the same server every single day um, and they you know had a pirate come by and did a little, little magic show so yeah thumbs up I'm happy yeah that's awesome well dinner was a success and we are going to make our way back to the room and maybe do a little hot tub and while Evie swims so it's gonna be fun I'll probably won't bring the camera out there um, just because it's still rainy but we do need some hot tub time we made it back to the room for the evening, and I didn't bring the camera with me, but basically after dinner, we went and spent some time in the hot tubs. Um, it was a little cold outside. The hot tubs weren't as warm as I would have liked, but we spent quite a bit of time out there almost until they shut it down at midnight. So that was much needed to kind of loosen this up a little bit. And then they have a late night sort of buffet at the marketplace. And so we got a couple just quick eats right before bed, came back to the room, and yeah, this is the end of our day one on the Carnival Panorama. We had a great time. Um, <clears throat> still getting my bearings about the ship, which will probably take a couple days where everything's at, how things operate. Um, I know I said earlier the elevators were a little challenging, but I think as people get settled and, and we saw at one point that they were using the elevators for luggage, which kind of backed things up too. So elevator situation has kind of resolved itself. It's way smoother. And we had an amazing day. It was fun. Um, the sail away party was fun, dancing around, had some good food, and yeah, great start to this vacation. Day two is a day at sea. Um, I'm hoping the weather changes a little bit and isn't so cold and rainy, which would be nice. But we thank you so much for joining us on this. If you like this type of content, give us a big thumbs up. That definitely helps. If you're not a subscriber, please do and smash that bell. That way you can be notified of our future videos. We are gonna have an entire series on this trip and we thank you for joining us and we hope you join us on our next adventure, which will be tomorrow, a day at sea. Thanks. Okay, we're about to ride the elevator. We're getting in R and do you know who can ride in elevator R? Pirates, R. <laughs> Give me your best R. Ow! <laughs>